Hello adventurers and welcome back to Sophia. Uh, this is part two of our let's play through this game and we've found the flashlight, we found a psychology book, and now we're about to go back upstairs and ho hopefully find Theo. I'm very nervous, the lack of music is unsettling. <laughs> Dusty coat closet. Okay, let's see if we can open these drawers. Take a closer look. Yes, we'd like to see the books. At a glance, these books seem to be biographies based on different psychologists and philosophers. I'm sensing a trend. Upon closer inspection, you see that one of the books is about Marilyn T. Johnson. Ah. Dr. Marilyn Tina Johnson, from 1928 to 1989, was a renowned researcher in the field of psychology. This book documents her post-war life as a researcher and mother of five. Lord have mercy, mother of five. Alright, that's locked. Let me see if I can look at the books in Theo's room now. A few books that neatly away. Take, yes, yeah, select take They appear to be how-to books filled with different cute arts and crafts projects. Oh, Theo is my type of guy. Oh, we, we would, uh, I'd probably love to hang out with this dude. Seems like Theo shares his more complicated books, stores his more complicated books somewhere else. Um, let me look at this dude. A big bear. Looks like it's about to fall asleep. Mm, it's the old TV. Maybe the book that's down here I can look at again. Book you've been meaning to read. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, do I need to look at these books again? It, it does twinkle. Well, no, I read all of this already. Oh, no, dang, gum it. Stop it. Eh. Stop looking at the books. Let's look in the bathroom. Nope. That rug looks ominous. No, the rug is not. The rug is apparently not ominous. I was wrong. Maybe go back here. It's locked. Okay, so it's a four digit code. Um, let me just try 0402 maybe. Nothing happened. It's locked. Um, let's see, maybe. 90. Do, 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 do. I know maybe the year she died? Hey, There we go. Let's go in. Oh, maybe this is his parents' room. Why it's padlocked? I don't know. There is a single red book in an otherwise empty bookshelf. You wonder if you should even count as uh, it should even count as such with the outrageous lack of books. Judging by the content, this book seems to be some sort of journal. The author is listed as Dr. Clara Carter. This is from 1998 or eight, 1988. Sorry. Uh, there has been no significant progress made in the past years, so Dale Jenkins has appointed me as the new head researcher. The team seems vastly incompetent, aside from Jenkins and his wife, Sophia. So that's where Sophia comes in. Especially, Sophia seems to be of right nature. She will be useful. Uh, a few months later, there is still little to no progress. Although the theory is working, we haven't been able to secure any suitable test subjects. Dr. Johnson's theory was based on human subjects. As scientists, we have no use for a moral code. But... Or, uh, if we don't start testing on humans soon, this project is sure to fail. I will not let this happen. Alright, we're about to get in some unethical shit. Uh, two months later. After a, break, after a streak of failure, we may have just hit our breakthrough. It appears that the perfect test subject was right under our nose this whole time. Uh, three months later. The experiments aren't as consistently successful as we need them to be. Has something happened? I don't understand. What isn't adding up? Seems like Sophia is still unaware of our testings. They were testing on Sophia. Perhaps I overestimated her. 
However, this is the closest we've gotten. I mustn't give up so easily. This is where the journal ends. Something must have happened. There is a photograph stuck between the final pages. Aww. That is definitely- This is definitely the person that keeps us uh, shooting slash trying to kill us. So, that has to be Sophia. Uh, <laughs> we shall see what happens. Hmm? There's a sticky note in the back of the picture. I need the space under the bed, so I put your journal here, Dale. I mean, I have to look under the bed. Look under the bed, uh, yeah. There's a box under the bed stuffed to the brim with paper. Most of them are complicated documents based on some sort of government-funded research project that you lack context and field knowledge to understand. Huh? There's a letter within the documents. Jenkins, I'm sorry to write you in this time in a time of mourning. However, this outcome is plain unacceptable. These morons wouldn't know what a breakthrough is if it broke into their home and dropped on their simple-minded minds. Excuse my language, but it is simply outrageous that we've been put on hold. We may have lost a valuable source. However, we can build upon the data and has that has already been collected. And lastly, I've been thinking if it is so hard to find a suitable test subject, may I be so bold to suggest that we create our own? Not in love, but in the name of science. It may seem unethical, but I am willing to do this. go this far. If it is for the ideal guinea pig. Oh, is, is, Theo, is Theo a test subject, baby? Also... I'm guessing within the context here is that this is the lady that was put on to work with Sophia and her husband, and I'm thinking that she totally swooped in after Sophia died. Like, no question. Again, I apologize if this letter seems ill-mannered. While I do believe such feelings have no place when it comes to our field of research, I also recognize that it is quite unhealthy to ignore them. Before I end this letter, please know that I am very sorry for your loss. Yeah, his wife just died, and you're trying to trying to bounce on that D girl. Goodness, you have no you have no shame. <laughs> Sophia will be missed as valuable coworker and friend. May she rest in peace. I just got shot. Okay. Another flashback. Cool. Just got domed in the head. Oh, hmm. Hmm? Excuse me. All oh, this must be when we first met. Hmm? Huh? Aren't you the guy from before? Oh, no, it's our second meeting. Yes! Funny running into you here. Yeah, don't come as often as I should, I suppose. Um, I don't mean to bother you if you're busy, but are you planning to rent that book you're reading? Uh, maybe. Why? Oh, I just... I've been trying to rent it for weeks, but somebody else always gets to it first. Oh, well. Maybe I'll have better luck next time. Take it. I can just run something else. Are you sure? You've already started reading it. Yes, I'm sure. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Don't mention it. That's the book that's on the floor in the bedroom. Now you've helped me out twice already. There's gotta be something I can do for you too. Hmm, it's all right. I insist. Is there really nothing? If you insist, you could come to my upcoming gig. Oh, okay, so the gig was the third meeting. This is the second meeting, so I guess we'll go to the first meeting in the next flashback, maybe? You must have fallen asleep on the train. Oh, goodness. 
You wonder how much time has passed. Your stop must be coming up soon. Hey, glad you can make it. Come on in. I can't tell if that plant looks different or not. <laughs> oh well. Welcome to my place. I hope you like it. Hee <laughs> hee. While I start preparing dinner, go ahead and make yourself at home. Choo. All right. Well, I can't look at the shoe rack anymore. Still can't look at the plant. Let's go to the bathroom for, okay, there's cracks in the wall over there. Oh, and the plant seems to be dying each time. Because after the first one, there were two leaves in the pot, and now there are four. So time is passing. So maybe we're the one... Maybe we're just the one stuck in the simulation. Alright, let's see what this says now. Anniversary. There are mountains. Stop writing over the entire month. Sorry. Uh... Holidays! Um, I don't know if... I don't know where this is based, but there would be holidays in April, in the middle of April. Okay, so I'm not sure about that. This is a bit more messy. There's still the stain where it obviously cleaned up the blood. That's still locked. Alright, psychology books. Yep, psychology books. Uh, let's do the lower drawer. Let me just make sure nothing new is in the drawers. Okay, nothing new is in the drawers, but we can open them from this thing. Alright, I doubt we can go upstairs. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the plants are, like, losing their color. The trash can's still empty. Alright, let's talk to this boo. Huh? Aw, oh, man. Gah, you startled me like that. Don't startle me like that. Dinner didn't really turn out so well, so I had to throw it away. Well, at least he's honest this time. Why don't you wait in the living room while I think about a plan B? Okay. You sweet, sweet babu. Like, do you can I go upstairs now? Don't want to sleep around too much. Okay, so I can only... I'll wait here until dinner now. Sorry for the wait. You ended up eating instant ramen. Again. Phew, that was good. Sorry I couldn't do any better. If only I wasn't such a klutz in the kitchen. I blame my parents for never teaching me. You know, you seem really absent today. Got something on your mind? Mom, my parents? They are super busy people. And they're really strict. Apparently, they do some research stuff, but I never got any of the topics they talk about. Father told me that he'd explain all that stuff to me after I turn 18. Oh, you're... I, I predict a psychotic break in your future? Um... And then they just up and vanished on a world trip right before my 18th birthday. Can you believe it? Oh, your parents did. Oh, they did. Oof. Honestly, that really surprised me. Okay, so we're just turning 18. So we're basically almost adults now. My parents always act really cold with each other, so I never thought they'd go on a vacation together. But, yeesh. Couldn't they have taken me along? Seriously, sometimes I think they just had me to see if They'd make some kind of genius with their genes. You don't say. That explain why they always treat me like a disappointment. Baby. Oh well, at least now Sophia is looking after me instead. She is much nicer to me anyway. After finishing your meal, you clean up after yourselves and head back to the living room. Let's head upstairs. I want to show you my room. Okay, baby. 
Onward. This is my room. I feel like I cleaned it not too long ago. I really don't understand how it's this messy again. I hope you don't mind. Phew, I'm glad. Wanna play some tea? You wanna play some video games? Let's play some video games. Actually, there's this really hard boss I've been struggling to beat in the game. Do you wanna give it a try? Watch out! Nice dodge. One more hit and he'll go into phase two. Oh, it's so cute. I think I think every time this resets, I should have them play video games just to because I thought uh, in the last reset that I, it wouldn't have any different dialogue, but apparently it does. So, whoa, big crit! Just a bit more and you have him. Uh, <laughs> you takes a few tries. I think it mean probably it takes you a few tries, but you manage to beat the boss. Yes! <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been procrastinating this boss fight. Seriously, thank you. This is a picture of you and Fio. You don't remember taking it. That's not good. Okay, I wonder if... Okay, no, it just shows you that. It doesn't show you. I took it to bail. Big bear. Aw, its expression's a bit sad. Yeah, it's time for bed. You head into bed. Crow? Not sleepy either? You asked me about my parents earlier. Um... I know you mentioned it before, but what were your parents like? I'm sorry. I know you probably just don't want to talk about them. It's just... It makes me so angry, you know? They had no right to kick you out for keeping a secret like that. That just proves that you had to keep it a secret, right? My mother had a really funny reaction when I told her I like boys. Please don't bother me with such irrelevant information. You won't court anyone in the foreseeable future anyway, is what she said. Dang, she's mean! Just like... Looks you up and down and says, Yeah, you're not gonna snag anybody. That's so mean. Rude much? But, you know, when I told Sophia that I made a boyfriend, she was really happy for me. That's weird phrasing, I made a boyfriend, not, I got a boyfriend. It just seems a little weird wording. There are still some good adults out there, I think. Oh, right, I'm 18 now, so technically that makes me an adult too. I'll never be a mean adult, though. If I decided to move out, could I move in with you? We've been dating for a month. Uh, it's probably a bit early to ask something like that. Forget I said anything. Good night. I really like the music in this game. It's not too repetitive. It's nice to listen to. Fio is sleeping peacefully. It seems like he doesn't realize what's going on. Okay, slot five. It's Fio's smartphone. Oh, come on. We can't be nosy. Okay, we can't go back in bed. Okay, apparently we realize that something is going on. That's still locked. Folks are stopping me away. Uh... Okay, yeah, it's the same. Okay, it's the same stuff as before. Okay, there's dust. 
dusty coats look like I haven't done in years. So that's a red flag, obviously. Um, but let's grab the flashlight first, if it's still here. No, okay, it's not there. Well, we don't really, I don't think we need the flashlight to find the code. So we'll probably just use the same code as before. Yep. Go back in, oh, things are different now. Uh, let's check the bed first. Um, no, let's look in the closet. I'm scared to look under the bed. Closet is empty. Sometimes somehow it feels out of place. Well, there was a bookshelf there before. Okay. It's box stuffed to the brim with paper. Okay, it's all that again. Did I get shot again? Oh. Okay, I still can't access the smartphone. All right, let's try that again. See if I still get shot. Wait, do I still get shot if I go over here? Mm, look in the bed again. Okay, it's all that again. Let me look at the closet, maybe? Ah, it's a door now, I think. Oh, I don't like these noises. <laughs> um, did nothing. After leaving the closet, one of the closet floorboards has become loose. There was a key underneath. Okay, well that's gonna open one of the- oh, it's probably gonna open the door downstairs. Or maybe the one up here. Let's try this one first. It's locked. Can I use key? Can I use the key? No, I can't use the key on that one, so it's probably for downstairs. Yep, it's for this one. Okay, here's another small room. Oh, that's... There's a light switch next to the mirror. It's the first light switch you've seen in this house. You wonder if the rest of it is on a timer. Actually, yeah, that is the first light switch that we've seen. Switch on the light switch. Uh, let's not yet. Let's take a... Maybe so we see if we can go around. Look in the drawers. They're empty. I can't look at the bed, so we will now turn the light switch on. <laughs> Why the long jeez? What the hell? Is his head taped to the wall? You don't want to look at this a second longer. After tearing the poster off, you see that something was written with red liquid on the wall. It reads, A-1702. Um, well, hold on, let me see if I have the pen, then I can write this down. Because I do not want to forget this, because I know I will. Alpha-1702. Okay. Okay, so it was a poster that looked like he was mutilated. It wasn't actually him. It wasn't actually his head. Uh, okay, yeah, they're still empty. Okay. That's... This is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's totally fine. And the boyfriend's gone. Oh, the 
boyfriend's gone now his phone's ringing it's video smartphone it's pin code protected okay so one seven zero two that was the incorrect pin uh there was a message above the pin input first date date month year so the last two are gonna be ten so it's gonna be two three ten There we go. Hello, Crow. I'm sorry I made you hide in the closet earlier. I'm sure that brought back bad memories. Not in the mood for dad jokes? That's too bad. Wouldn't hurt to lighten the mood a little, would it? Now don't go hanging up. I'm sure you've been walking around aimlessly for some time now. I prepared a present for you. It's in the living room. Now don't keep me waiting. Oh, and in case you were thinking about calling the police. We're surely past the point where I'd have to explain why that's a bad idea. Unless you truly believe that your future is in good hands with the government. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this box. I got a very bad feeling about this box. Uh, this is a suspicious present on the table. Open the present. Hold on, let's see if we can go into this room before we do that. Maybe something I'll put in the drawer? No? Okay, we have to open the present. Um, uh, let, me, let me save really quick. <laughs> I'm scared to open the present. Alright. Uh, let's do this. A weird ga- Oh, no, we got gassed. A weird gas came out of the present. You don't feel too good. Does this woman keep killing us and knocking us unconscious? Because it is very rude. Oh, oh, this is probably flashback number one then. So it's one, two, then three. Shady guy. Hey there, cutie. Are you talking to me? Oh shit, are you a guy? Um, yes? Are you making a fool of me? Huh? Don't ignore me, asshole. Uh, how do you look like that? Hey. Huh? Pick on someone your own size, coward. You really think you stand a chance, you skinny little twat? A flick of my finger would send you flying, ha <laughs> ha. Sure, if you want to create more evidence that badly. Whatever. I'm done wasting my time with you nerds. These two look the furthest from nerds that you can get, at least in the stereotypical sense. My goodness. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah, you just shoved me a little. I'm fine. God, what an asshole. Thank you. It was nothing. I'm just glad you're okay. Hmm, yeah. Now we're back on the train. We must have fallen asleep on the train. Wonder how much time has passed. Everything is red now. Your stop must be coming up soon. Okay. I think this might be the final trip to... It might be your last. Okay. This is probably the final stop to Fio's house. Oi. Hey! 
Glad you can make it. Come on in. Okay, the plants are dead. Like, D-E-D. -E -D. Uh, welcome to my home. I hope you like it. It's seen better days. Well, that's quite rude. You're lucky I love you. Mwah. Okay, let's see how bad the bathroom looks. Plant's dead, uh, but not too much damage, so that's decent. Can I open this again, or no? Okay, no. Okay. And everything is a bit of a mess still. Anniversary, so many bunnies. Looks like Sophie drew some bunnies, and... So did Theo. Theo's bunnies are absolutely adorable. Let's see if we can go to this room. Oh, we can. Look in the drawers. They're empty right now. Okay. Alright, I don't think... Oh, can I go upstairs? I might as well try. Nope, you should have dinner first. Okay. Check on Fio. Okay, the trash can's still empty. That plant is dead. Hmm? Oof. Oh, Crow, you surprised me. Seems like the ingredients I wanted to use are already expired. Rude. It would have turned out fine. No, it wouldn't have. Just wait in the living room. I'll go find something else to eat. Fridge is nearly empty. The few items you can see look like they expired a long time ago. How long have we been 18? I'll wait here until dinner. There you go. You're not touching your food at all. If you don't like instant ramen, then you should just tell me. My dude, we are in a fucked up Groundhog Day situation. Uh, why aren't you talking to me? You're behaving really distant. I don't like it. Did I do something? I won't know unless you tell me. Talk to me. He said I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry for getting mad. I know things aren't easy for you. I'm sure you have your reasons. Whatever's on your mind, I'll try to distract you from it. So whenever you feel like you're ready, talk to me about it, okay? After finishing your meal, you clean up after yourselves and head back to the living room. I know something that'll cheer you up. We'll go play in my room. Plant's dead. Let's see how bad his room looks now. It's not too terrible, but all the flowers are dead. Okay, yes, it looks bad. No need to say it. I really meant to tidy up before you come, but I forgot. It's a little grammatical. Before you came, but I forgot. Sorry. Let's just play things on the TV. There's this game I've been wanting to play. Want to play it together? Let's let's do it. This is going to end up being sad. There's one behind the table. Where did that come from? Ah, over there. Shoot it. Quick. Whoa, so many guts. They made this game quite realistic, huh? Nice shot. Right through the head. Oh, this is not good. Eh? Why did you shut it off? Didn't you say before that you liked horror stuff? When did you say that? Hmm. I think even before we started dating? Oh well, <laughs> if you're not in the mood for it, then there's not much point to it. Let's just head to bed. And next time you can choose which game we play, okay? Look at the bear. You wonder what this bear has seen. <laughs> oh my god. You head into bed. 
crow? Are you asleep already? I see. Well, good night. Mm. Crow, just... Even if you felt under the weather today, I still had fun spending time with you. I hope next time you'll just... You'll have just as much fun, too. No, we gonna die. Oh, we're back up and at him. Theo was sleeping peacefully. You almost envy him. All right. Oh, we can't we can't do anything to the phone yet. Oh goodness. All right, well, let's go snoop around, I guess. All right, that one's still locked. So we'll probably find the way to get into there. Yours, yeah. It's locked. You unlocked the padlock. Hopefully you won't need it again. Okay. So let's go downstairs. Maybe we'll find who we're looking for. Let's look in the drawers. They are still empty. Okay. Uh, let's try the kitchen then. Front room. Nope. Go back upstairs. Maybe look in this bathroom. And there's some cracks on the wall. Can I open any of the drawers? Uh, had some scarves. There's a little dinosaur toys in it. Oh. Oh. Time to go back and get the stupid... <sighs> yeah, I hear you. They hung up immediately. Can I redial? Oh, open the drawer. It's locked. Seems like you need a code to open it. However, you have no idea what this code could be. You're not this sure what this picture is of anymore. Oh, seems a little pointless now. Um... Maybe let's see if there's any other drawers I can open. Oh god, there's a present. Uh, might as well open it. I'll take the present with you. Do I give it do I give it to my boy? I don't know what I do with it. Open the drawer. It's locked. Seems like a new code. Here we go. What would it be? Theo is- oh, Theo is sleeping soundly. I don't know what we need to do with the present. Um, maybe let's go to the room that's downstairs. This one. Oh, there we go. Something on the thing. Talk one time. I do not know what that means. Oh, there we go. Okay, I need to submerge the box in water, it looks like. Um, so I'd probably do that in the shower upstairs. Oh, 
Oh, nope, in the sink up here. A fairly faded bathroom sink. There's a drawer built into the sink. Take a look. There are multiple cleaning utensils and hygiene products in the drawer. There's an empty bucket. You could submerge the present in water. Take the bucket. Yes. Unfortunately, the bucket is too small to fit the present. You'd rather use a faucet close to the container you want to fill. Okay, let me see. Uh, probably the kitchen sink would be best. Maybe the kitchen sink? Fill the bucket with water. Oh, we can probably put it in the trash can. Yep, trash can. Fill the trash can with water. Halfway filled with water. Okay, fill it one more time. Filled with water. Put the present in the trash can. The water has turned red. Of course it has. There seems to be something floating on top of the liquid. You carefully scoop up the key with the bucket and discard the bucket afterwards. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you'd rather not touch it. Alright. Well, let's go open that drawer in Theo's room. That might go to that, but let's try the this door first. Oh, it goes to this door. Oh no! Oh, they're the scientists. They're the parents. Oh god. I'm gonna read the file. This is some kind of file on a table, but it is way too dark in this room to read it. Take it with you? Yes. And murder weapon. A comedically large kitchen knife. That's what can only be assumed to be dried blood on it. It looks quite dull. Okay, where would a place with more light be? Um. Oh, wait. A place with more light would be the one place where there's a light switch. Of course. Alright, let's read how messed up this is. Subject name... Theo Jenkins, born October 12th, 1991. Male. Number of iterations, 284. Number of successes, zero. Oh, wait, it's showing it over here. The subject seems to have developed into a balanced specimen despite the emotional isolation and extensive testing growing. Uh, it's, I think it's growing up. Overall, it appears that the subject is not suitable for pro something after multiple iterations uh the subject we have yet established a connection between the cog cognitions uh note there may be another way with plan gen Uh, subject name blank created January 4th 20 blank uh, sex uh, I'm guessing that means intersex maybe number of iterations 52 number of successes zero this uh, zero this iteration was created I guess with plan gen by putting subject I'm assuming that's Theo's DNA into a creation pool um, as something is the only successful case so far we hope to recreate the success via this method however there has been no further progress project blanks been declared a failure blank is terminated without further notice okay so that's Ooty. Uh, B017. Let me do Bravo 017. You remember seeing a cone starting with A before, but where? Did we just, did we just leave this thing here? 
Okay, yeah. Take down the note? Yes. Remember. I don't see there's anything in the drawer. Empty. Okay. Oh, there's a trap door. There's a trap door on the floor. Since it's open, someone must have used it recently. We going in? Do you want to descend? Uh, yeah. All of the files. There's a suspicious looking folder on the table. Take a closer look. Um, actually, before I do that, I want to save really quick. <laughs> Um, and actually with that, I think I will finish up the last little bit of this game in the next video, because I'm looking at the recording, and it's been quite a minute. So I will see you all next time as we delve deeper and deeper into the many, many secrets that are coming up, because there are a bunch of calendars with the same date in the trash can. Okay. Uh, stay safe, adventures. See you later. Bye!